our game is completed if i run it you can see you can play the game play the score system and when you collide with the enemy the game restarts now it's time to export it for windows so to export a game in godot we go ahead over to the project export and we click add and you can export to all of these platforms for now we are going to export it for windows desktop we click on it and when you do it for the first time you will get a bunch of these errors so first there are no export templates installed and also you need rc edit to add a custom icon to your game to download export templates you can click on this manage export templates and just simply click download and install it will automatically download the export templates and install it for you the other way is to click on this three dots and open in web browser this will download it with the external download manager if you have one so you just wait up for until this downloads so i have downloaded the export templates for the version 4.1.2 which is currently the version i am using so after you have downloaded the export templates if you have downloaded them from the external method you just need to keep them in a place where you won't move them again and then let's go back to godot and let's go back to the export settings now if you click the windows desktop you will see this you go manage export templates and it's installed from file and now you have to choose that folder where you where you kept the downloaded export template so i'm just going to select it and click open it's going to extract them and then install them for us but if you have downloaded from the editor then it will automatically install for you export templates are installed and now i can just click close and let's go back into the export and now you will see no error but there is a warning that the rc edit tool must be configured in the editor settings so rc edit is a command line tool that lets you set custom icons for your games right now we really don't need that but if you want to know how you can do that let me just show you so i have added a link to the description of this video to this github repo you can go there and click on the releases tab and just download this uh, 64 version or 86 version according to your operating system so i have these x64 so i downloaded that one so you also have to keep it in a place where you will not move it again and now in the editor you go to editor settings and you go all the way down to windows and here in the rc edit you go ahead and pass the path to that rc edit and now it will look something like this and if i go back into the export settings now there is no error or not any warning now we are ready to export so the first thing you have to do is to give an export path you just click on this button and now you can specify the path where you want to export your project i'm going to create a new folder first game and let's just save it as first game.exe and let's save it and now here you didn't you uh, really don't need to worry about all of these settings but inside of this application you can specify the custom icon over here it can be an ico file a png a webp or an svg so we just give it this icon.svg this is the default go to icon and here you can change the file version product version company name and product name so let's just give it a first game right over here this is the name that will show inside of your exported game now let's click on this export project it will ask once again where you want to store it and it's using that path i gave earlier make sure to disable this export with debug this is for debug games and if you want that you can just keep it so we're just going to export without debug and save it will take a few seconds to export it and now we are exported and here you go this is the game there are only two files of Quero exported game so the exe and the pck file the pck file has everything every data of the game that we created so if you run this exe you can see the game is exported and it's running on our windows pc that's it for this whole uh, series if you found this series helpful then please go ahead and like this video and also don't forget to subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one bye bye